So we know that revenue and expense accounts need to get closed. So looking at the uh, sales ledger on the screen, it has a balance of $40,000 on the credit side. We said that's got to get closed by resetting the balance to zero. So in that case, we need to make a debit. But where does that go? We can see question marks for the reference. We need to put that in a ledger. For every debit, there must be a credit. So where would that credit go? Similarly, for wages and cost of sales, they're both expenses. They have debit balances. We need to shut those down with credits. Again, the question is, where would it go? So what we're going to do is create a new ledger or a new account called the Profit and Loss Summary Account. And that's for used to gather or transfer the balances of all revenue and expense accounts. And that'll help us do two things. It'll help us firstly calculate net profit for this period. And secondly, reset revenues and expense balances to zero. So net profit for next period can be determined. So it's got the rules of an owner's equity account. And that kind of makes sense because profit will make owner's equity or capital go up and losses or expenses will make it go down. So when it goes up, it's a credit. And when it goes down, it's a debit. So we'd expect to see the revenues on the credit side and the expenses on the debit side. And how we're going to do that is close the revenues, uh, for example, to the profit and loss summary. So you can see the sales account there. We need to close that with a debit. Now, what will sales do to owner's equity or profit? They'll make, that'll make it go up. So that makes sense that we'll actually close that to the profit and loss summary account. So now we have a matching debit and credit for that closing entry in sales. Looking at the two expense accounts, we've got wages and cost of sales. We needed to reset their balances to zero with credits. Where does that go? We're going to put that to the profit and loss summary ledger, and that's going to go on the debit side. It's going to decrease profit or owner's equity, so that makes sense. They'll go on the debit side there, just in one total of $24,000.